have a very jelly Christmas. Green Balloon Club Winter Special, Wednesday at 3.30 on CBDs. In an ordinary sofa, in an ordinary room, extraordinary heroes who are standing by to see. Ready, buddy block? You won't get it in the circle. I will. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes! I've got one, two, three blocks in the circle. We can beat you, can't we, buddy blocks? Your blocks get too excited. They're excited because they're going to win. Here we go. Woo! Woo! Yes! Yes! I've got one, two, three. That's more than yours. You know I've got three as well. I counted them. But they've been moved. They might be a different number now. No, they won't. One, two, three. Hmm. Things don't change number just because they've moved around. See, yours have moved. Yes, there might be more now. There won't be. One, two, three. Huh. Well, they definitely look more. That's a long line. I know what you mean, Three. But in fact, it doesn't matter if things move or if they're in a long line. It's still the same number. It's just the counting that counts. Well, let's count them then. Yes, it'll be the same number. Let's see. Yes, in the circle, there's one, two, three for me, and... Oh, none for you. What? Like you said, Paul, it's the counting that counts. <laughs> We've got an agent calling in. Which one? Agent 81 here. Things are going wrong. But not for long. I need help. Everyone is busy counting. That's all right. We like counting. But they're counting all the time. They can't get on with anything else. Hold on. I'm putting it on screen. <laughs> Teddy's moved. Yes, and now she thinks she has to count them all over again. She's going to be there all day. Exactly. No point in counting when you don't need to. Five, you'd better get out there and sort things out. I'm on my way. Get ready for launching. Hey, hey, we've got a problem. What should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? Need to get out there. Who will it be? Who's going out Number four. Stand by for launching. Checking the room's empty. All clear. Good luck, Five. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Looking for a five. Looking for a five. And found one. Oh, 
OK, let's see if anyone else is counting when they don't need to. We have an agent calling in. Agent 44 here. And a very good number, if I may say so. What's the problem, Agent 44? It's the waitress. She's spending so much time counting, the customers are getting fed up waiting. They'll never get their food at this rate. Agent 63 here. The man in the office keeps on counting his papers. He'll get fed up counting all the time. And look what's happening at the school. I could help her count those children. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no. She's starting to count again. A teacher ought to know you don't need to count again just because things have moved around. This is getting serious. The children are never going to get outside to play. OK, agents, let's sort these problems out. There are two problems. Things are moving when they shouldn't be. And people are counting things that they don't need to. Let's sort the problems one by one. Five. Why are the children and things moving? Help me look closely. Putting close-ups on screen. Look! Blobs of slime. That's why they're moving. Ah, oh, yes. And I can see where the blobs came from. The problem blob. On screen now. Spot a blob of slime. Guess what? Big slob can buy. Uh -oh. Great big and blubbery. Blubbery. Making trouble is the blubbery, snubbery problem. The blobs of slime are making the children and everything move. Right. We're sending brain gain to protect things from the blobs so they stop moving. Brain game, brain game to solve the problem. Use our brain. No way to get your brains all linking up together. Joined up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain game. I can do it. Brain game to protect the moving things from blocks. Sending brain game. Protect the children from blobs. Protect the papers from blobs. Protect the plates from blobs. Let's hope that's worked. Yes! Ah. The plates aren't moving anymore, so she doesn't have to count them. Oh, no. That's the problem, Blob. Don't worry. We've protected the plates from getting blobs on them. Oh, no. The plates moved because she slipped. And she stopped to count them again. Let's hope the man in the office is all right. We've protected the papers from blobs so they shouldn't move. The fan's blowing the papers around. And the man thinks he's got to count them again. We've protected the children from blobs on them. Hope there isn't another way they're going to start moving. Oh, no! The teacher thinks she's got to count them all again just because they've moved. If people keep thinking like that, anything could happen. People would stop and count their legs every time they walked. Or count their fingers every time they moved. Or a shepherd would think he had to count his sheep again every time any of them moved. And that's what counting sheep does to you. It could be disastrous. We've tried to stop things from moving. What else can we do? The real 
problem isn't the things moving, it's people counting them all the time. It's like you said, Four. Things don't change number just because they move. That's the message we need to get out there. Send Brain Game telling everyone what Four says. Oh, thank you. Let's get the message out there. Let's send Four's message to everyone. Things don't change number just because they move. She's counted them. Things don't change number just because they move. The children are moving, but she knows she doesn't need to count them again. At last, they're going out to play. Let's sort the man in the office now. More brain game coming up. He's counting his papers. <laughs> Things don't change number just because they move. He's not counting them again. Great! Counting the plates. Let's hope for the last time. <laughs> don't worry. She's not going to count the plates again. Things don't change number just because they move. <laughs> well, everyone's happy here at last. The blob isn't. No more fun for the blob, now that people know they don't have to count every time. He's gone. Come on back. One, two, three, four, five! Oh, well done, Five! You got Four's message out loud and clear. And we've got it all on screen. The girl kept counting her teddies every time they moved. And so did the waitress with the plates. That man was getting very hungry. The man kept counting the papers. And the teacher kept counting the children, who couldn't go out to play. It was all the problem blocks fault for making things move. But once people knew they didn't have to count things every time they moved... Words of wisdom from me, number four. Everyone relaxed, and that was the end of the blob's fun. Hooray! Sorry about cheating a little bit last time, Four. That's all right, Three. Right. I shall count you only once. One, two, three. Now, move! They certainly moved, Three. Yes, and I know there are three of them. I don't need to count. I could count them for you, just to make sure. Oh, yes, please. One, two, three. Yes, still three. The best number ever. Get three things, count them, then move them around as much as you like. You'll see, it's still three. Three, three! You could try it with four things too. You could, but it won't be as much fun as three things. Check it out and call the number jacks. Trains. Wilson. Let's ride the rails. Brewster. Honking horns. That sounds amazing. And Coco. Train-tastic. They're a good little team. Yeah. The gang's all here. So all aboard CBB's crew. Next stop, Chuggington. Weekdays at 5.25 on CBB's. The days are sliding past. There are only ten days to go till Christmas. Merry Christmas!